Hey everyone, Izzy and MJ from Endless RVing. So it is late fall, winter is right around the corner, and for many, including us, it's the end of the RVing season. What comes along with that is storing your RV. So in this video, we're gonna talk about certain ways that you can store your RV for quite cheap, but also some even free. So before we go any further, let's just address the elephant in the room. If you follow us on social media, you probably know what happened, but I did fracture a small part of my elbow. I fell outside in our backyard. So this is that, and this, this is why the hair looks bad, one-handed and the, the mismatched uh, clothes. So just bear with me. You also may be wondering, what is this background? Well, we're in a new RV right now, brand new motor home. We're absolutely loving it. So we'll talk about that <laughs> a little bit more at the end of the video. Let's get right into it. So the first and most obvious is your driveway. And that's what we do. Or at home. Yeah, at home, yeah, right. So we'll get into that a little bit later, but driveway is the most obvious. The perks of that is you are seeing your RV all the time. You have access to whatever you need. So even during off season, we'll go on there and do things or you it's know get items in. we need. It is. If it's you have safe. hookups, yep. You're able right. to work on your RV. Right. You know, you can load it, all that stuff. That's a great mm -hmm. thing to have. And if you're even more fortunate, you're gonna keep it indoors where you live. Right. Which we don't have that. Yeah. So some problems that people may run into in terms of parking it on their in their driveway. Number one, a lot of HOAs don't allow that. So that could definitely definitely be a roadblock. Second thing, sometimes people's driveways are too small. They're not long enough. They're too steep. Getting to their driveway may be a problem for us. It's it's close, you know, with the tight corners and things like that, but we're able to manage. So in that case, then some of these other ways might be good for you. So your second option, if you don't have room in the front of your home, where you live is maybe the yard. Now, this again, if you have the property, this can be a good thing. It's kind of out of sight from the front of your home. So that may be something people are looking for. But the disadvantage could be is that, especially if you have a motorhome, you can't just really park on the grass. At some point, you're probably gonna sink. So you have to set up like a gravel pad, asphalt pad, concrete, whatever to get that RV, motorhome, whatever it is onto your property. So the next thing is use those friends that you have. Reach out your to rich fr friends with your, big properties. <laughs> maybe people have large properties that they would be willing to let you leave your, your RV there. And always a good thing, you know, you never want to just take, take, take. Give something. Maybe offer, allow them to use your RV or take them out to, you know, Ruth's Chris Steakhouse or like some something really nice. But, you know, a lot of times friends, if they have property and they're not using it, they may be more than willing to let you borrow. Or even for a couple bucks, you know, if a local storage is going to charge you four or five hundred dollars a month, if you give them a hundred bucks yeah. a month, I mean, you get five months for the price of mm -hmm. one month, five, one month for the price of we five months. <laughs> you get what I'm saying. But yeah, that could definitely be a, another situation. It's, it's going to be safe and you always have somebody watching your RV, which is always a good thing. So the next option, if you're a member of a church, big congregation, many times churches have large facilities, mm -hmm. large parking lots, lots, oftentimes they're not used right. unless there's service mm -hmm. going on. So that can be an opportunity, maybe store it there, give the church a couple of bucks. Yeah. They may be willing to, to do it. Churches always they're need They're low on funds, right? right. If right. you want to uh, give them some money instead of a, a private storage place, mm -hmm. that could be an option that works out for everyone. Just keep in mind a good thing, if you do this with a church, you want to have- Or anyone really. Yeah, yeah, anyone. You want to have some sort of written agreement that states where you're able to park, how long you're able to park, what's expected once you return. So all of these things are laid out so there's no issues that come up. Right. That's really anything you do. Yeah. If you have something that's laid out, everybody's expectations it just makes it easy mm -hmm. that way nobody's upset you agree to it they agree to it mm -hmm. and everything's good to go so moving along this is probably going to cost you money local business mm -hmm. yeah, especially if you live in a smaller town a lot of local businesses are family owned and everybody kind of knows each other there's a business that has a lot of room hey approach them hey you want to make right. a couple of bucks you, you mind if i leave my rv here it may work out. Right, again, all of these options are definitely gonna be way cheaper, more affordable than if you're going to store in a lot. An RV storage lot. Right, we stored, when we first had our Jayco travel trailer, we stored in a lot and it was expensive. Yeah, it was like 300 bucks a month. It was something really ridiculous. Yeah. It's probably even more now. Yeah. So the next area is progressively more expensive, campgrounds. We've been to mm -hmm. many campgrounds that they also offer storage. And right. most of the time it's a lot cheaper, again, than going to that dedicated RV storage with the right. full hookups and everything else. It's gonna be a lot cheaper, so check out that option. Right, another one, and this is, this is a big one and a lot of people do this, is RV dealerships. So it can get pricey, but a lot of RV dealerships, 
if you purchase your RV there, and some of them, you know, you might get it for free the first year, but even so, if you're a customer of that dealership, a lot of times they'll give you discounted prices on storage. Yeah, and also it, it's very convenient if you want to have repairs done right. or routine maintenance. It's right there. A lot of times you might get some priority because mm -hmm. you store with them. So, you know, it's always a good mm -hmm. idea to try. So everything we just told you, you tried and you failed, and now you have to go to a, a dedicated storage or RV storage facility. It? There's no failures. There's only lessons learned. Lessons learned, that's right. <laughs> so you go to RV storage lot or just a regular storage place, they can get very expensive, but you still can save a couple of dollars. Sometimes, especially if they are low in, you know, clients, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> they may be willing to give uh, discounts because they, they need to fill the space, right? Like they're paying for that space, whether it's filled or not. So they want somebody there. Also, if you pay in bulk, so maybe mm -hmm. a year ahead of time right. or two years ahead of time, you probably can negotiate a better price versus a month to month. Mm -hmm. So we told you we're on a new RV. So what do you think of this? this is a beautiful- We really like 2020 this. 2022 two. Ventana. What is this? 43, 80, 43 footer, 84 yeah, I think. Yeah, 43 footer. Look at that, look at that desk. Is that not the coolest thing in the world? Yeah. So where are we? What RV is this? Is this an RV we would like to have? Yeah, and they're Did we buy probably this? really good prices because Did it's the end of the season. Did we buy this? No. Put in the comments below. Unfortunately, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but we're actually at RV1 in Albany today, so we're doing a bunch of filming here, but this is a gorgeous coach, and we're probably going to do a tour of this so keep your eyes open. So in the comments below, let us know how do you store your RV? If you pay for a place, how much does it cost you? People want to know, I want to know, we want to know because different parts of the country is definitely right, different right. prices. Put it in the comments below and if you are interested in more tips and tricks, we have a playlist, we'll put it up over here. Above my head. <laughs> and for myself and MJ, it's a journey of a lifetime and we'll see, see you on, on the road. road.